Hi, this is Jay from Encodian. So we get asked quite a lot, what is an action uh, in the context of an Encodian subscription? So if you've been to our website, as you can see here, we've got various different standard SKUs, which are trial, free, small, standard, uh, mid-sized, large and enterprise. And you'll notice that each of these SKUs have got a number of actions per month. So if you're on our free plan, you'll have 50, if you're on small, 250. And as you go up, you'll see that these get larger and larger and larger up to enterprise where you get 12,000 actions a month. Uh, and if needs be, we can provide custom actions if you need higher throughput or you've got some specific requirements. Uh, likewise, just to mention, if you also need to be have your own dedicated connector, then we can provide that, but you'll need to contact us at salesencoding.com. We can set that up. But back to the point, what is an action? So. To, to work this through, I've got a few examples I'm going to take, take, take you through what they are. If I jump over to Flow, we've got an example Flow here. And this uses, uh, when, a, when an item is created in SharePoint, it converts um, the details of that item uh, in, from HTML to PDF, and then it creates a resulting file. So that's, the Flow is executed once, it calls one encoding action, that's one encoding action. Nice and simple. If I jump over to this Flow, You'll see uh, this flow retrieves an item, a document from SharePoint. It uses an encoding action to convert that document to PDF. It then redacts that document using the encoding redact action. So in this example, there's actually, it's one flow execution, but because you've got two encoding actions within the flow, that, that counts as two encoding actions, one for convert to PDF and one for redact PDF. And if we jump over to this one here, which we've got quite a few, so we've got convert to PDF, insert HTML, add text watermark, redact, add image watermark, so on and so forth. So each time one of these actions is called in this flow instance is going to count as one encoding action. So let's count these up. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten encoding actions in this. So if I execute this flow that we're looking at right now ten times, and it's got 10 actions, that's gonna count as 100 encoding actions, okay? And likewise, just to um, also affirm, if you're running a loop and you've got an encoding action in a loop, then every time you call the action in that loop will count as an encoding action because you're doing something with encoding. So in this example here, we've got a split PDF um, doc uh, action that splits a file, a PDF file that's obtained from, from SharePoint it split that PDF document into a number of separate documents. In this instance, you can see here that it split it into seven because there were seven documents that are in the applied to each. And therefore, this add text watermark and create file has been executed seven times because it's been executed against every single file that was created as a result of the split. So you've got seven text watermark actions inside the loop and you've got one split PDF action so that is eight encoding actions, okay? So put dead, dead, super simply, every time you call an encoding action, that counts as one action. It's not per flow instance, it's simply every time you call an action, it's one encoding action. To also add, um, when you have an encoding subscription, you're, you have both access to the encoding flow connector and all of these actions that you can see here on the screen. Um, but you, you also have access to the PDF Converter for SharePoint Online app. So that's not separate pricing. We're simply saying when you've got an Encodian subscription, you can use those actions either in the Flow Connector or via the PDF Converter app. And we'll simply just uh, decrement the amount of actions that you've got available to you. So if I jump over to SharePoint, I've got a document library here. And let's just convert this document to PDF using the app. Here we go. I can put text watermark on, etc. If I need to, let me just process that through. So that that conversion to PDF is going to count as one encoding action, and will again uh, be decremented against your actions account for the current month. So there's that document. Um, if you've got any questions and you're still not sure, please email us at supportencoding.com. If you've got any questions with regards to licensing. Um, uh, perhaps around custom connectors or if you need a custom plan, then either email us at support at encoding.com or please email us at sales at encoding.com. Thanks.